With the summer approaching, Rick Muser, owner of Errol's Ice Cream in Huntington Village, says people will want one thing. Everyone thinks ice cream when the warm weather hits. Um, it's just one of those, uh, you know, American desserts that uh, everybody loves to have. But recently, 10 people, three of whom died, were infected with listeria after it was found in Bluebell ice cream. Ohio-based Jenny's Splendid Ice Creams also had listeria found in it. Both companies recalled its products, costing Jenny's $2.5 million. These things tend to play out over time, and so it's not necessarily the immediate actions that the company takes, but it tends to be how management is perceived by the public in the long term. So how did listeria end up in ice cream? Outbreaks are usually associated with contamination of some piece of equipment in the factory. That was the case for both companies, as stated in recall notices. Listeria can also be found in unpasteurized dairy products, soil, and water. It can affect the bloodstream, brain, spinal cord, and something else. Listeria also breaks tolerance, which is important for cancers. Sheridan currently studies the immune response to listeria using mice and actual listeria. So we've got a giant rack with um, all of our listeria. We store all these at, at minus 80. Ice cream lovers may not have to give up their favorite frozen snack. So if the recall is contained to Bluebell or to Jenny's or just to, to a few brands, then the market as a whole is going to survive. But what does this mean for Bluebell and Jenny's? But those particular brands are going to have to fight to stay competitive. Muser says Listeria won't stop him. The Listeria could cause hysteria. For us, it's uh, business as usual. Everything's good. It's uh, getting into the springtime weather now here on Long Island, and uh, it's going to be very busy here at Herald's. So to mitigate listeria infection, just practice safe sanitary measures such as washing your hands. But the ones most at risk are older adults, pregnant women, infants, and those with weakened immune systems. Overall, you can still scream for ice cream. For Stony Brook News, I'm Julio Villa.